Alright guys, today we have a look at Buzzbull. Buzzbull, one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. I've been preparing a Buzzbull guide for you guys that I will upload probably one week after this video or a few days, a couple of days after this video. I have basically a lot of videos that I want to um, upload. But I think Buzzbull is a really good Pokemon. And if you want to get the Master from Vedavent, from Ultra, from Expert, anywhere, here's a Buzzbull video that can help you to improve on Buzzbull's landing phase and why Buzzbull is one of the best Pokemon to rank up in solo queue. In this game I was playing attack bait with this policy and resonant guard. You can change the resonant guard with the focus band. You can also play muscle band instead but I think Buzzbull is really good when he has resonant guard attack weight weakness because attack weight and weakness are just really good with his attack strats. Plus Buzzbull is one of the Pokemon that is best at stacking. So when it stacks the attack weight gets the weakness policy stacks in just really insane combination. For the resonant guard it's basically you can decide between Resonant Guard or Focus Band because Resonant Guard gives you 450 HP but every 10 seconds gives you a shield which is pretty solid. It also gives your teammates a shield and it stacks with HP. But you can also run the Focus Band. Focus Band is better at like team fights and like heavy team fights where you need the Focus Band healing to stay alive. But when you play Resonant Guard, you play more like around bushes, looking for picks, looking for 1v1s and like engaging and disengaging. So if you're more like the type of fighter, Focus Band is definitely better than Resident Guard. That's up to you. For my Emblem choice in this game, I went 6 Brown and 6 Fight again. Again, as I said before in my previous videos, my runners are pretty good with this build. And Buzzball needs HP, he needs also damage. He doesn't need cooldown reduction because he gets cooldown reduction with level 11, super power plus. So Black Emblems are not really that good. So focusing on HP, attack and speed is always just really good for all runners and Buzzball as well. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the video and learn some tips and tricks for Buzzball. As I said before, I'm going to upload a Buzzball guide in the future and uh, take notes from how to play Buzzball in the landing phase and, and in general so you can play Buzzball in solo queue and improve your rank in the start of the season. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to play Buzzball. A little bit of trading in the beginning of the rank season to make sure that we are not going to lose. If we're going to lose, this is a bit sad. But Osmoy being one of the best characters in solo queue in terms of early game stacking, definitely pretty strong. I always try to go out to the backside the enemies and then just try to like pick my stacks. It's like so easy, like when you play a like stacking character on bot lane, it's very easy to stack on bot lane in solo queue than on top lane. And on top lane, like the enemies like is, are so aggressive, right? So like on bot lane, they will just like gentleman agreement, you stack, me stack, we fine, we chillin. Obviously like the enemies don't know that like stacking on buzzwell is just so good. So we're gonna suffer from uh, buzzwell boy. Now I'm gonna stack my uh, brooch. I'm gonna use super power on them and kill them. It's so simple. What? He's 99% HP! What the fuck? Already having um, almost 5 stacks. I push him again. And they can't really do anything because we also have an Eldegoss. Eldegoss, Buzzwell, one of the strongest lanes. Honestly, Buzzwell, so broken in like um, solo queue. Taking the bunny and the Obino together, get them both at the same time. And then we're gonna use Super Bowl to secure it. And then we have Smackdown. What we want to do now is like um, make the farm fast, push it to our side, and then go to the middle Swablus. We also wanna contest the middle Swablus. Yes, having six stacks, middle Swablus is gonna be fine. Like our goal is to get level 9 as soon as possible because we want to rotate towards the lane because we are playing against the duo queue. The duo queue needs to be shut down um, in the early game so it's going to be easier for me to carry the game. Like 6 stacks pass for early game is just insane. We are going to doing a bit of a sneaky play there. That's like one of the reasons why I don't play pass in solo queue because when you play Buzzboy in solo queue, it just means you're gonna have the easiest time. Like obviously, maybe in late game not so much, but 
early game wise, if you know how to play the character, know how to play lanes, it's gonna be really easy for you. Because solo key players are not punishing you. So we're going to run to top lane now. I missed my smackdown, we don't talk about it. The duo Q is level 7, level 6. I get a mine. We're gonna super power the Espeon. And then we're gonna score 30 points. I take the top lane objective and then we're gonna try to push the top lane objective into the enemy goes on. If possible, you always wanna create pressure and like play really aggressive. So going into the enemy side, have a little bit of dancing. Pushing the like early game to the mid game and trying to have a sustainable late game, like late game, it's gonna be good for you when you play Buswell. Yeah, Buswell really strong a character. There's a lot of power specs, right? Like you wanna get level um level 5, level 7, level 9, and then level 11 and then level 13. That was a really weird interaction. Putting it up and in. I'm not trying to run away to not give the enemy 6 fear. Now going to the middle, taking the Spablus in the middle, getting level 11, bottling Spablus with spawn as well, 550. Spawn timers are important. Going to bot lane now, getting the uh, Spablus as well. Now reaching my uh, first power spec in the mid game, which is level 11. The second power spec is gonna be level 13. Yeah, like when you play a character like Buzzball, you always wanna like look out for the power spikes, right? You wanna protect points, you wanna know where the enemies are. I think the worst thing to do like in mid game is to like die against the enemies. I always try to highlight it um, during my talk through because like combat XP is so big for the enemies, so always looking out for not giving the enemies too much combat XP. I mean, like this Dina is just a demon, like he. He baited us into the like side and used slow, slow smoke to zone like zone us. And <laughs> scoring 17 points is just a demon. And when I got Tuffin now, when I get the Metagross, uh must buy one of the uh, good counters against Metagross as well. Because Metagross um, has a hard time against characters that are melee and CC. He's not playing the real boy, but he's playing the other ability. But having a lot of CC is gonna be really beneficial for you when you play against the Metagross. My Metagross also being nerfed is also cool. I'm gonna use a sneaky play here where we um, use the eject button smackdown into super power. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna like, try to like bait him a bit. Into the super power, into the unite move. I'm shutting the mime and then just running away. He used his unite move so he cannot protect the point. Kind of having a big unite move here. Potentially not good to like push the objective, but got about anything dying on spawn. I always want to look out for like who to focus. Do you focus the attacker? Do you focus the defender? Usually you focus the defender, but in solo queue it's always like a moment where the attackers just like melee range you. Yeah. Smackdown again. Trying to catch the Gardevoir. And then potentially looking for a pentacle. Do, 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 do. And now the Swablus on bot lane will spawn, the top lane Swablus will spawn, top lane Swablus will spawn at 3 minutes and 15 seconds because the top lane goes on got broken. Always keep in mind the spawn timers so you can farm efficiently after using ultimate to get your ultimate recharge but also get a lot of XP. Swablus gives so much XP. So keep in mind the Swablus timers. I'm gonna play a bit of aggressive here, looking to uh, steal the Albinos to get level 14 and then score 50 points. I usually don't do this, but the enemies are like playing really stuck together. So I might as well try it and extend the lead. Going 50 points in the middle is always risky, so wouldn't recommend that. Um, but yeah, I was trying it because I saw like a few people bot lane. But as you can see, like Metacross stopping me as well. I'm not gonna try to fight him here. I wanna lose my focus pen and wanna keep my um, legs and stuff. So we're gonna camp in the bush, wait a bit, 
You can potentially get the objective on top lane if the Dragon Point is coming. I can try. Can we 14? But I don't think we have time. Come on! Nice! The top lane is a win condition. Now the top lane is going to the enemy base. And now we just need to stop them from flipping. And then our Reggie is going into the enemy base. And we're gonna have an easy time. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Huge! <laughs> I played... Oh my god! It's a clinic! Regulaki is also walking into the enemy base! And that's the one reason why I'm not playing Busboy in solo queue. Busboy being one of the best Pokemons in solo queue, if you know how to play it correctly. If you wanna uh, rank up and get to Master in solo queue and know the fundamentals of Busboy, you can play Busboy to reach to Master, 11 kids, 11 assist. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the basketball video. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.